This video demonstrates the most commonly used features when debugging using the MPLABX IDE. For this example, we're going to debug a very simple program written for a PIC microcontroller. After reset, the program sets the lower 8 bits of an I.O. port to output by writing 00, 0 to the lower 8 bits of a TRIS register. The program then enters an infinite loop in which it alternately outputs the value by 5 and AA to the lower 8 bits of the latch register. After each time data is written to the output port, the program calls a function called delay. Delay controls the amount of time the values appear on the output pins. Before we begin debugging the project, we will verify MPLABX's current debug startup options. To check the startup options, from the Tools menu, select Options. When the Options window opens, select Embedded and then Generic Settings. The current debug startup options can be found near the bottom of the page. In this example, the default debug startup options for MPLABX has been selected. That is, it will run when the debug session starts. We will change that to Halt at Main by selecting Halt at Main and then OK. We now need to open a project to debug. Select the Open Project icon. Navigate to the directory in which the project exists. Select the .x directory indicating the MPLABX project and then select Open Project project will open up and you will see in the project window the file structure of the project. Once a project is open we would like to verify the tool selected as a debugger. To do this we need to open and examine the project's properties. Right click on the project name in the project window and then at the bottom of the menu select the word properties. Your screen does not give us enough space to show the word properties but it is located at the very bottom of the menu. When the project window opens you will have the ability to examine and change the device, the compiler, or the hardware tool selected as a debugger. In this example an ICD3 has been selected as a debug tool. We will change this to simulator by Selecting Simulator, hitting the button Apply, and then hitting the word OK. To start a debug session, we will push the Debug Project icon from MPLABX's toolbar. Three things happen when a debug session is started. First, the project will build. It will then be loaded into the selected debugger, in this case, the simulator, and the simulation will begin to run. Because our debug startup option was set to halt at main, a green bar indicating the current location of the program counter will be set on the first line of main. We are now paused and ready to begin this debug session. In the upper right hand corner of the MPLABX toolbar, the debug icons will appear. Pushing the Step Into icon will advance the program counter one line of source code. In this example, when we push the Step Into three times, we are ready to call the delay function. The fourth time we push Step Into, the program steps into the function. And subsequent pushes of Step Into will execute one line of the delay function. The only way we can get back to the main program is to execute all the lines of code in the delay function. Pushing the reset icon will cause the program to execute a software reset and set the program counter to the first line designated by MPLABX's debug startup option. Hitting the step over function will cause the debug session to execute one line of source code just like step into. 
the significant difference between step over and step into can be seen when we're about to call the delay function. Hitting the step over will cause the entire delay function to be executed and then the program paused at the main program that called the delay function. To allow the debug session to run the program without single stepping, push the continue icon from the MPLabX's toolbar. The processor is now being executed in full speed. You will notice when the continue button has been pushed, all the icons, with the exception of the pause button, are grayed out. To pause the debug session and halt the processor in its current location, push pause. A common method of controlling the flow of a program is done by using a combination of line breakpoints and the continue button. To set a line breakpoint, select the line number that you wish the debug session to pause at. In this case, we have set two breakpoints, one on each of the outputs. Hitting the continue button will allow the processor to execute and pause when one of these line conditions is reached. Now that we can observe and control the flow of the program, we may find it useful to see the values that the PIC sees. To look at the global variables and special function registers that the PIC sees, we can use an element called the Watches window. To open a Watches window, select Window, Debugging, and then Watches. In this example, the watches window was opened up and there have been two values, a special function register called lat a and a global variable called delay valve that appear in the watches window. Right clicking anywhere in the watches window, we can add a new watch. We are given the choice of adding an SFR or special function register the pick or a global symbol. In this case, we're going to enter the value CTR and place it in the Watches window. Once an element is added to the Watches window, we can observe its value every time the pick pauses. If the value displayed is different from the last value displayed, the Watches window will display that new value in red. As we continue to step through, we can very easily see all the current values as well as the most recently changed value. MPLabX will allow you to manually change the value of an element in the watches window during a debug session. To do this, simply pause the program or when the program hits a breakpoint, go to the value section, highlight it, and enter in the desired value. When the new value has been entered, hit the return. This will update the SFR with the value you entered. And every time you continue to execute the program, you will notice that your value has been placed into the program. When you are satisfied with the operation of your program, you need to do two things. The first is to end the debug session, and the second is to build a releasable or production version of your file. To end the debug session, simply hit the End Debug Session icon from the MPLabX toolbar. To build a releasable or production hex file, you need to push the Build Project or clean and build project icon. This concludes the video on the introductory steps of MPLabX debugging. Here are some resources to get more information on MPLabX.